Hey guys, Jason Nedved here with Nedved Precision Shooting. Today we're going to be going over how to spin a 22 spinner. So I got two of them set up at 50 yards and about 100 yards, and we're going to go over how to shoot each one. Each one. So this one here, you can see large target at 50 yards, right? Looks good. But what we need to do is measure. So you can kind of see, let me focus this a little bit. Okay, I want to aim about right here, hit low on it, so then it gets a really good spin. And what I'm looking for is up here, where that mark is. So I'm looking here, if I go here at six, it's gonna be a little, it's really windy, you can see it moving. It's gonna be a little high on the target, so if I put six below it, because I don't have any other uh, marks up there. So I'm gonna put six well below it, about that far. So I am sitting at about seven to eight mils up there. So let's level this off. We're gonna be putting that, that six down there while we hit high. Because I didn't zero it. Here we go. Always zero your rifles, guys. All right, so now we put that six well below it. We hit a little high, wait for it to come down. See how low it is? It's dang near back in the crosshairs. And we're leaving that six below that crossbar. And a little bit more each time, we gotta predict that swing. So there she went over. So now, when it's still swinging, not when it's all the way down. See, it's dang near in the crosshairs. When that starts getting into the crosshairs is when we want to pull that trigger. That felt like empty. Okay. So looking at that crossbar, getting that six underneath there, and we're going to hit that target. You can see all those, that shiny spot right there in the center of that target. So we were hitting a little higher than we wanted to, but we did get it... Uh, spun. So now we will go out to the 100 yard, which is out here. Get that focused in. So this is going to be a little bit different because of the distance. We got to pull the trigger a little earlier now. So let's see here. So you see, we're measuring right there. We got the four right on that crossbar. Yeah, it looks like I'm aiming the grass, but you just gotta believe that the target's down there. Uh, probably add a little wind. We got wind down there. See, we gotta be a little quicker with this one. See how early I had to pull the trigger on that? Because we gotta think about our flight time. See, there she went over. Right when I had an issue. So, perfect. So you put that four up there, go around. Oh, that was way too early. See that? There we go. See, that's why we got to measure that four because you're not aiming at that target. If you're going to be following that target around and trying to trace it like that, no, you need to look at that four or wherever that crossbar is at, and that's where we want to be shooting. All right, so hopefully you guys seen that in trigger cam footage, kind of understood. If you do have any questions, comments, concerns, please uh, leave it in the comments. Uh, let me know, or if you shoot it a different way, you know, just let me know. Uh, or if you want me to look at something, that's completely fine. But those are the ways I shoot it for center fire and rim fire. You got to kind of predict where it's going to be. And if you look at the other video we got posted, you'll see uh, how I shoot the center fire uh, spinner. So. There you go. Thanks, guys.